911 caller, 30 shots fired in West Asheville night pregnant woman's killed. Asheville, up to 30 shots were fired the night a pregnant woman, Tikwish and Antoinique Simul, was shot to death, according 911 call transcripts released June 19, a week after her slaying. In one call, a woman pleads for help, prays and says she can't get a pulse while another woman can be overheard saying she's not going to make it. No names are given and callers are identified only by letters and numbers. The first of the calls came in at 11.26 p.m. and the last one at 11.42 p.m. The 12 transcripts released by the Asheville Police Department give a glimpse into the violence and despair of the night of June 12 when officers say Samuel, 24, was shot at Beaverview Apartments in West Asheville. She was later found in the Burton Street neighborhood where other callers said they heard noise, including crying and wailing. It's not clear how Samuel traveled the 2.5 miles between the two neighborhoods, though a man who identified himself as her boyfriend told a day after the shooting they had been together. Samuel was pronounced dead at Mission Hospital, though her baby lived. In the week following, police have provided little information though on June 17th give the location of the shooting as Deverview. No arrests had been made, police spokeswoman Christina Hollings said. Samuel testified as a subpoenaed state witness about two weeks prior to her death in the capital murder trial against Nathaniel Dixon, who's accused of killing 22-year-old Candace Pickens and severely injuring her toddler son in the North Asheville Park in 2016. Police have declined to say whether they believe Samuel's killing was tied to her testimony. A mistrial request by Dixon's attorneys, who cited media coverage and a statement subsequently released by District Attorney Todd Williams, was denied. A funeral for Samuel is planned June 22. Eight of the 911 calls came from people reporting shots fired in Beaverview, a subsidized housing complex less than a mile off Patton Avenue. The other four calls came from the Burton Street area. I just heard a ton of gun shooting and then screeching of tires. And then another round of a ton of bullets and then screeching away again, said one woman calling from Beaverview who estimated 20 shots. Another from Beaverview said she believed there were two different guns fired. Yet another said there were about 30 shots and people who raced away from the bottom behind the basketball courts. In a call from the Burton Street area a man says his neighbors are crying and wailing. They've been screaming and crying for several minutes now, he says. In another call from Burton Street, a woman tells the dispatcher that she needs police and the ambulance. On the same call a woman in the background says my baby and oh my god. Oh my God! I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Later the caller says she can't even get a pulse and says the victim is pregnant. She said she doesn't know who shot the victim, I just need you to, get some help for her.